Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy, bringing you another video. Today, we have sort of a banger. We are gonna be visiting Corrupted Strength out here in Houston, Texas. Uh, well, Missouri City, basically, but still Houston, Texas. Uh, picking up the homie Chris right now, waiting for him to get out. Um, we have deadlifts today, we have a single at 8.5. So, my body's kind of beat up, but from yesterday, cause those back downs, bro, and like my, my uh, what's it called, is sore. This left leg is super sore. But we're gonna push through, we're gonna have a good session, and we're just gonna get straight to it. It's gonna be a short little sweet video for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna have include my warm ups, my back downs, uh, maybe some accessories and stuff, and um, just hopefully we get to meet a few cool people there as well. So, without further ado, I will see you guys at Corrupted Strength. Let's go. <laughs> Did not hit 585. We're, we're gonna have a tar back down. We have three by five with uh, 463. So this should be fun. This is technically a rep PR too. So let's go. That's man. Jesus. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he going for both. <laughs> 
one of you corrupted, but I'm out. All right, guys, just dropped off the homie, bro. Um, <laughs> super short video, but a super solid session. Um, back downs were the highlight of my session. My top set, my top single was not the highlight of my session. Um, it's fine, though. It's fine, though. Everybody has to fail at one point in their life. And I haven't failed too much these past, these past few days, past few weeks, you know what I'm saying? But... God, God said, not today, son. Gotta, gotta keep you humble. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep me humble. Gotta keep me something. Gotta give me something to keep working towards. You feel me? Uh, so that's what, if anything, that's what today taught me is that I still got a lot of work to do. Um, not only do I still have a lot of work to do, but um, just gotta get get in the right mindset and uh, have the, the right mentality when it comes to those heavier loads. Uh, because I noticed I didn't get like. Not that I wasn't trying because I felt like I was trying, but I didn't get myself hype for that lift. And being around a lot of people that I didn't know, it was kind of hard to do that. But I have to do that when I'm at competition too. So it's like now, now I'm seeing that I need to be able to get into the right mindset whenever it comes to big lifts. Uh, give me a second. I need to see how, how I'm getting home. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, that's that's how I went today, but super solid session at Corrupted, uh, freaking sick gym. Uh, I always enjoy going there when I do. Uh, back downs were definitely the highlight of my session. 463 for reps, for five reps at that. Um, so that's a rep PR, and to me, that's more important than the top set because that's where the real work is done. That's where you're really growing. That's where the strength is really developed, and and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Um, my face is breaking out bad. Like, it's all red. Not breaking out, but, yeah, breaking out. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I kind of want to go over the 580, 595. So, first of all, I thought I was doing 585. I thought 5 reds was 585, but it's 595. So, bonk. That's on me. Um, and second of all, the platforms that corrupted were not the best. Um, I have to say that. They were not the best. The bar was rolling a lot on the platform. So even when I, I was trying to do my thing where I pulled the slack out, it was just not not it. The bar kept rolling in front of me after every time I pulled the slack out. And hell, as soon as I tried to pull myself into position and wedge to the bar, the, ball, the bar was uh, rolling because I think the platform was uneven in some areas. And so it just wasn't the best for that. And it kind of threw me out of position. My my elbow was behind the bar instead of in line with the bar like it usually is. Um, but then again, you know, I don't want to make too many excuses because at the end of the day, you got to be strong enough to pick that weight up. So not a lot of excuses on my end. Um, just next time, you know, we're going to count all that out and we're just going to lift, bro. That's all it's about, just lifting the weight, just getting stronger and being able to handle heavier loads despite you know certain variables because hell there's some people bro who can who can deadlift over 600 pounds with some metal plates and a crappy bar with crappy knurling in their garage so why can't i do that minus all of those variables you know what i'm saying so for me that's just that's just the mentality up here uh i don't want to make too many excuses for myself i don't want to justify it too much but i just wanted to go over that with you guys and let you know a little bit about potentially why that lift could have went the way that it went um definitely think that also squats yesterday me repping out 420 pounds for five reps for the very first time in my entire lifting powerlifting you know journey this powerlifting journey the powerlifting career whatever career not a career i don't make money out of it but you get me uh it probably just did a lot to my body and uh made me a little bit fatigued for today but we're gonna have some low rpe stuff next week I'm gonna be able to not relax but just kind of take things really light and then these next these next two weeks and then We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be ready for the meet and uh, I'm ready to put up some numbers at the meet. I definitely think um, we can hit that weight at the meet and maybe even more. That's that's just the way, that's where my mindset is at it right now. So yeah, anyways, apart from that, if you guys enjoy this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry, the camera's probably bouncing everywhere. The audio's probably not as good. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.